when I got there today, every car in his lot looked like somebody had taken a ball peen hammer and knocked dents all. Hey guys, we are back from the frame shop. He did a good job on this. You can see, man, the gap's really nice. So it is straight as an arrow now. It's really good. It's really good. So now we're just going to be in the process of waiting on uh, Mike to uh, be able to get it into the paint shop. He's going to have to do some touch up on this back fender here and paint Paul's front fender that's going on and this uh, that fender and the door of course and in the meantime while I'm waiting on him to be able to get it in I'm going to replace that front bumper and the back bumper and have try to get everything else done on it that I need to do before uh, Paul's gets back so let's get this thing unloaded I guess the good Lord was watching out for me because um, I was supposed to bring it on a Monday and I looked at the, the radar and saw that it was supposed to rain that night and I knew that remember this door over here was pushed in down there so we had about an inch or so gap up the top and I didn't really want to take it and leave it at the frame shop just out there so I called the guy and told him I'd wait and bring it Tuesday and uh, when I got there today every car in his lot looked like somebody had taken a ball peen hammer and knocked dents all it had a huge hailstorm. it was like he said ping ball ping pong ball size hail and i mean the hoods of all the cars were just shot <laughs> tops of them and everything so best jeep was here in the garage safe and sound and so i brought it to him uh on tuesday missed all that so thank you for that and now um all we got left to do is just, like I said earlier, we're gonna just work on that rear bumper and the front bumper and just do odd and end things until Mike can get it in his shop. All right, so the bumper's off, it's pretty painless. Um, I think while I've got that off, I'm going to go ahead and go get bolts for that trailer hitch. Beth wanted that on there, so and that really needs to be on before you put the bumper back on. So when I'm going to Mike's, I'll stop and get bolts. A few moments later. All right, I am back from Mike's. There's my bolts for my hitch, license plate bracket, and there's the bumper off Paul's Jeep. Now let's get this stuff cleaned up and get it installed. We'll start with this license plate bracket because there's some bolts up underneath here and I'm not sure if they're hidden by that bumper since I have the bumper off so we'll go ahead and take that off and see what we can do about that. Okay there's a license plate bracket so now let's move on to the hitch. Okay, so there's the hitch, and I still have to figure out how to uh, get her some trailer hookups back here because she's going to pull a little, like a lawnmower or something on a trailer, then she's got to have light, so. Okay, so the back end is complete. 
nothing else to do back here except give it a cleaning and try to figure out the if we can hook wire for the trailer and next on the agenda this rear bumper here that we took off the center part is still good the painted part that fits the Sahara I'm gonna go ahead and take that cover off of there in case either Beth damages this one or Paul wants to go back to stock on his bumper at least we'll have the painted piece to match the the Jeep, you can always buy a cheap old regular bumper from a sport. And we're going to go ahead and replace this front bumper. It's scuffed up and beat up right there, so we'll get that one off. And then we'll use the one we got from the salvage yard, which is behind that one. Put the Sahara package on it and reinstall it. Alright, well we had to move inside because it started raining on us, you can tell by the wet Jeep. So let's go ahead and get started and we'll get this uh, bump her out. All right, so we got the bumper off, as you can see. Uh, like those inner bolts in here are hard to get to. You can just get it a little bit at a time but so we've got it all so the next thing we're gonna do is prop this thing up on a stool or something to try to get all this uh, Sahara package stuff off so we don't scratch it up and then we'll get in there and try to get the lights out and all that stuff okay, so I'm gonna take these little screws off right here that's holding on this painted area that's the part of the uh, Sahara package so there's four on this side four on this side we'll zip those out and hopefully there's not adhesive holding that on too All right, no adhesive. Okay. So that's the piece we needed. We'll clean it up in the sink. Before we put it on the new one. And then we still have to take these lights out. Put them in the new one. 12 seconds later. All right, got one out. We got to remember that this right here goes up on the top side with the hooks and there's the other side all right so we think the one the hooks are old bumper are a little bit better than these hooks on the new bumper so we're going to take all this stuff off and uh, these off take the plastic off of this metal get to the back of these change these out and also knock out these uh, places where somebody broke off the tabs on the old uh, wiring harness. Okay, so those are loose. Let's see what it looks like. Your little impact brace there. Oh, that's cool. Check us out. These just like lift out. We got the best of all parts of all the bumpers. So this piece right here was better in Beth's original bumper. And then uh, the hooks were best from best original bumper, but then the rubber or the plastic piece is best from the new part that we bought. So we use all the best parts to make one good bumper. All right, we're getting ready to use back to black. I'm sure you've used it before on the show um, on black plastic. So we're gonna see how it does on this bumper. And we're just gonna be on both sides up to about here because this is all getting covered with our Sahara. So.
Okay, as you can tell, we've got our back to black on each side there. Now we're getting ready to put on the cover for the Sahara package. Snaps on. And then we need to put our screws in there. All right, so now we're back to Saharified. So now we can get it back installed, which is the bad part. And, uh, but then we'll be done. We'll get this thing back out of the garage and get the edge back in here. Welcome to the Mundane Minute. All right, this week's edge update. Hood is on. Uh, everything under the hood is finished. I'm um, having a little bit of trouble with some of the adjustments. As you can see right here, like this fender is way up above the hood. I mean, that's supposed to the hood is supposed to be up above that just a little bit. So. I'm thinking what happened uh, in the wreck was that when this it was hit up in the front here, it pushed this fender back up and made this support right here go up higher. And so I'm wondering if this whole thing, if these supports need to be pushed back down because it's the same way on both sides. I got that there, but I'm gonna let Mike look at that, try to figure that out. I've got everything uh, ready for him to paint and see what he can do about those gaps. Uh, all the wires are ran except for that one right there it goes under the bottom of the on the back side of the bumper when he puts that on and then all of his spare parts are in the back seat and i told you last time that we were finished with the back but that's not entirely true because we still have to do the wiring for the trailer hookup so i bought this kit right here it is supposed to be an easy plug and play kit that hooks right into the existing wire loom and runs down there and connect it and it should everything should work signals blinkers uh, signals are blinkers uh, brake lights all that stuff and I got it from eTrailer.com and we'll put a link in the description below and uh, show you guys all about it if, if it works see how it does all right so we're gonna start by disconnecting or removing and disconnecting this light here and supposedly these things are just held on by the screws. On this side. Ah, yep, all right. All right, so now we have to disconnect this load. Okay, I'm gonna set this out of the way. And then our new uh, wiring harness should have just teed right into that. So this should just plug right into here. Make sure it clicks. And we're gonna go ahead and run our wires down where they go before we hook this piece right here hooks into the light that we just took off. And this one is a ground, so we have to find a good ground. So we're gonna do all that before we actually hook the light back up. All right, so here's kind of the path we're gonna take on this thing. If I can get a light shine down in there where you can see it. You see that little hole there? Put my hand in there. Okay, right there. I'm gonna go through uh, with my wire boom. And it's kind of a flexible pad right there. You can just kind of lift it up a little bit like that. And then your wire goes down through there. And I'm going to have this wire in one of those flexible looms. I'm going to peel this uh, ground wire back a ways down to probably here. And uh, have that go on down through the hole. And then I'll find a place to uh, 
ground it off to the frame because there's going to be a self drilled screw to ground that down and ground that off. So let's get the wiring loom on there and then we'll start fishing it through. 12 seconds later. All right, so I've got the loom on and taped about every six inches or so so it won't split back apart. Now I'm going to feed it down through that hole. I showed you all ago. A few moments later. All right, so I'll see if you can see down in there. I've got that routed, going right through that hole. And now the hard part. See if I can get you to where you can see underneath. So you can see where it's coming out. I've got a cable tied up to that other wiring harness. Down and around. Here like this. Just along the frame, turning, and then over to the hitch and out. Okay, so that's how it's how it's wound around through there. Pretty easy. Now I'll show you how to hook up the uh, uh, light back. So now, <clears throat> wire just snaps into the harness on the light. Click. Shove it all back in there. All right, then we will uh, test it. We'll get us a test light and make sure there are signals and all that stuff are working. Okay, so I've got the uh, test light hooked to a ground. I've got the headlights on, and this should be the lights right here. So we've got power through that. Let's try a signal. Okay, so I've got left turn signal on. Check to make sure we've got the turn signal. All right, let's try the right one. And we have that. All right, so that looks good. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this week's episode. Remember to subscribe and like us. Give us a thumbs up down below. And uh, really, if you want to help our channel grow and we can get you some better builds, uh, share us with your friends. That's what really makes the channel grow the fastest. So thank you for watching, and we'll see you next week. And always remember, don't retire it if you can rebuild it. See you guys next week. Thanks so much, guys, for tuning in and watching this week's episode of Rebuild It. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any awesome content. Have a good one.